This question asks us to determine the pH of a buffer solution that is 0.211 molar in lactic acid. So I'll go ahead and write lactic acid here. For this question, you actually don't need to know the structure of lactic acid. I, I could write out its formula, but for right now, I'll just write lactic acid. And then it says, uh, it also is, I'll write sodium lactate down here. It says that it is 0.111 molar in sodium lactate. It then gives us the Ka of lactic acid as being 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. It tells us, or asks us, sorry, to solve this problem using two different approaches. The first is the common ion effect approach, which I've shown you earlier. The second is the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. I'm going to show you how to do both. You'll discover at the end that the Henderson-Hasselbalch approach is much, much easier. Now, sodium lactate is a strong electrolyte, which means it's going to dissociate completely to form sodium, or Na+, and lactate. You also might guess that lactic acid is a weak acid. And indeed it is. It's not one of the seven strong acids I make you memorize. So it's going to have an equilibrium arrow. It's going to dissociate into H plus and lactate, which is its conjugate base. Because sodium lactate is a strong electrolyte, dissolves very nicely in water, and it's present in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio of sodium lactate to sodium to lactate, I'm going to get out 0.111 molar equivalents of sodium and 0.111 molar uh, equivalents of lactate. Now, in order to determine the pH of this, I have to make an ice table. So I'll go ahead and write that out here. With uh, simple systems where all you have is a weak acid and you don't have this stuff right here, the initial concentration of H plus in the conjugate base is zero. However, in this system, I have two substances mixed in solution. I've got my lactic acid and sodium lactate. Sodium lactate spits out lactate, which is a common ion. That is, it's something that is in common with the stuff on the right side of the equation up here. So this lactate is going to feed back into this equation and disturb the equilibrium or shift it to some degree to the left. So the initial concentration of lactate is not zero. It's 0.111 molar uh, owing to the source of lactate down here. The initial concentration of H plus, of course, is zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and realize that lactic acid is going to decrease by some amount over the course of going back and forth and back and forth until it reaches equilibrium, which I will call x. So as it decreases, it will decrease by an amount minus x. Because they're present in a one to one to one ratio, H plus and lactate will increase in their amounts by plus x. So the final equilibrium concentration of each of these is 0.211 minus x, zero plus x, or better said, x, and 0.111 plus x. Well, we've been told that our Ka is 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. The K expression, of course, is going to be the concentration of H plus multiplied by the concentration of lactate divided by the concentration of lactic acid for this lactic acid system. All I have to do then is take each of these values and plug them in to their respective locations up here in this expression and then solve for x. When I have x, I will get, that will be the equilibrium concentration of H plus, and I can uh, determine my pH from there. I'm going to move this information down here then to give us more room. So the Ka is 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And I set that equal to this expression up here. H plus at equilibrium is equal to x. The uh, concentration of lactate is 0.111 plus x at equilibrium. And that's going to be divided by the equilibrium concentration of lactic acid, which is 0.211 minus x. Now, as I've told you in uh, other videos, these x values are going to be so small relative to the 0.11 and the 0.211 that I can just throw them out to simplify things. So I'll just cross them out, pretend that they're not there, simplify this expression to be 0.111x divided by 0.211. That is all set equal to this number. Now I solve for x. Now, when I solve for x using this, I end up getting 2.66 times 10 to the negative fourth. X is the equilibrium concentration of H plus. So what is the pH? Well, there exists, of course, our familiar old pH equation. pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H plus. In other words, it's going to be equal to the negative log of 2.66 times 10 to the negative fourth. I throw that into my calculator. I end up getting a final pH of 3.5. Five, seven. This is a way of solving for pH by using the common ion effect approach that requires us to make an ice table. I want you to catch your breath for a moment. I'll now show you in just a second 
how to uh, solve the same problem using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which you'll notice is much easier. Okay, here's the Henderson-Hasselbalch approach. The Henderson-Hasselbalch uh, equation says that the pH at equilibrium is going to be equal to the pKa plus the log of the conjugate base concentration divided by the conjugate acid concentration. Let me explain what this stuff means. First of all, what is the conjugate base of our acid? Here's lactic acid. Its conjugate base is lactate. Now, because I've added the source of lactate, I have common ion. I've got 0.11 molar lactate at initiation. So this is the conjugate base, and that is its concentration at initiation. This is the acid itself, and that is its concentration at initiation. So what I do is I put these numbers in for their respective locations here. In other words, I've got log of, once again, the base's concentration equilibrium, or sorry, at initiation, which is 0.11 molar, divided by the acid's concentration at initiation, which is 0.211 molar. Now I have to just figure out what pKa is. What is pKa? Well, pKa, mathematically speaking, is equal to the negative log of Ka for this acid, or whatever acid you have in question. What is Ka? Well, it gave me Ka. It's 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. So the negative log of 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth equals something. You throw that into your calculator, and you end up getting, or should end up getting, a 3.85. 3.85 is the pKa. So the pH then of this equilibrium system is going to be equal to 3.5 plus the log of 0.111 divided by 0.211. So I'll mathematically take this number divided by that number and get a new number. I take the log of that. That gives me this overall term, and I add that to 3.85. When I do that, the final answer that I end up getting comes to 3.57, which you'll see is the same pH that we calculated using the common ion effect approach.